What's up everybody, Trubbing Gaming here. So in just a few days of course, on Wednesday, September 7th, uh, Sony is going to be holding this big press conference where they're looking to announce quite a few things related of course to PlayStation. Uh, we all kind of have an idea of course what we can expect from the show, but nobody really knows in detail and that's why in this video I'm going to be giving you uh, five bold predictions for the PlayStation event this September uh, 7th of course. Now, want to quickly let you know uh, the event is actually happening on September 7th at 8 p.m. UK time and uh, I will actually be live streaming it myself so you can find the stream at twitch.tv slash robinelio. Gonna be going live probably about 30 minutes in advance and we're just gonna you know speculate for those 30 minutes and then afterwards actually watch the show so you can see my reactions and uh, yeah all hang around in the chat and you know discuss what is being announced there but for now I'd say let's actually get into the uh, video the five predictions I have the bold predictions uh, for what we're gonna be seeing at this event. Now very very first one, it's funny because I had kind of formed this list, list already uh, about, I, I'd say like a few weeks ago I guess, uh, and my first prediction was that we were going to see alongside of course a Neo, we were going to see a PlayStation 4 Slim being announced, uh, which will be retailing for $299. Now I don't think it's much of a surprise anymore that the PS4 Slim is coming, it's pretty much leaked all out there and uh, we all know that it's real of course, but they haven't officially said it yet, uh, but yeah that's not quite a prediction anymore, but I think my Myself, that this PlayStation 4 Slim is going to be uh, in stores for $299, which means another additional $50 price cut. Um, yeah, you know, with this model, they are of course able to tune the price down a bit because all the components are slightly cheaper and it's a smaller version of the same PS4 that we are already playing on. Uh, so yeah, I personally do believe that the price for the PS4 Slim will be $299. Uh, second prediction, I think the PlayStation 4 Neo is coming out this year. Now, reason why I believe this, of course there have been rumors out there saying that already, uh, but I believe those rumors and the reason why is because why would they hold this uh, press conference right now? If the PlayStation 4 Neo was not coming out this year, but like next year, why would you even hold the event right now? Why would you not have then, you know, announced it at E3 uh, a few months back? Or why not at PlayStation Experience in a few months from now? You know, there would have been many reasons not to have this actual event now unless the PlayStation 4 Neo actually is coming out this year. So yeah, I do believe that somewhere around November of 2016 uh, we will most likely be able to find a PlayStation 4 Neo in stores. Uh, and that leads me to my third prediction, which is that I believe that the PlayStation 4 Neo is going to cost $399. I don't think it's going to be, you know, as massive of an upgrade that I personally actually would, would want. I would really want this device to be a much more powerful PS4, but you know, from all the leaked specs that we've seen out there, it's looking to be an upgrade for sure, you know, and it's going to be able to have 4K video or 4K output at least in a way, and we really have to see if games will be able to run at 4K, honestly. Like, I mean, it's probably possible, they, but they won't even look that good in my opinion. Uh, but just in terms of the specs, you know, the GPU, which is slightly improved, the RAM, which I guess is more uh, the exact same, it's once again rumored to have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I do think, yeah, it's going to be an upgrade and we're going to see exactly what what the difference will be but uh as far as it goes, you know, they might be even selling it at a, at a small loss, but I do believe that the PlayStation 4 Neo will be sold for $399. Uh, and maybe, you know, that would then be the 500 gigabyte version. Maybe there's even going to be, you know, like uh, 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 versions with more, I guess, uh, you know, with, with a bigger hard drive, you know, one terabyte, two terabytes for bigger prices. But I think the base model for 500 gigabytes would be $399. Uh, then we get into the fourth predictions. Now we're really going to get into the games because I really believe we're also going to see some games being shown off. Uh, let me start off with this one. I think that we're going to see the Uncharted for single player DLC. And the reason why I'm saying that, you know, is because the game was finished in March of this year. Uh, I've actually even done some calculations because I think with this single player DLC, we should really look at what North Rock already did with the Last of Us single player DLC. Um, which The Last of Us came out in June and then the single player DLC released in February. I think that this Uncharted 4 single player DLC is also very likely to come out somewhere in the beginning of next year, but I do believe they might already show it off. Uh, Last of Us went gold in May and the DLC was announced in November, so that's about, I think, five months in between. Uh, so Uncharted 4, you know, went gold in March, oh sorry, six months. Uncharted 4 went uh, gold in March and if you uh, add six months to that, then we're actually uh, at September. So it's very, very likely that 
uh, Neuthrog here is going to show off Uncharted for a single player DLC and it would really be a nice way to actually show people you know what the graphics are like on PS4 Neo it's like you know we all know what Uncharted 4 already looks like on our PS4 it looks amazing but uh, once you see that new single player DLC being announced with even better graphics and stuff people are going to be like holy shit I need to get myself a PlayStation 4 Neo and of course you can still get the DLC on the original PS4 but uh, it's just going to be an additional reason to make people feel like damn I really should upgrade to this PS4 Neo so I do think that Sony and Northrock are going to be showing off Uncharted 4 single player DLC and we'll see exactly what that is um, and then that leads me to my final prediction and this is a really bold one I guess uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be shown off at the PS4 Neo event or the September event from PlayStation uh, you know there have been rumors for so long already that that uh, Red Dead Redemption actually was supposed to be shown off at E3 but for some reason was cancelled I'm not sure if I should believe that I'm kind of 50-50 on it I guess but um, you know if that was the case and it's very likely that they're going to show it off here and it's once again this big thing where like Rockstar never really shows up at events like that but they do always or at least sometimes show off trailers for example they have done you know a GTA 5 trailer at E3 on the Sony stage uh, they've, they've had these kinds of partnerships with Sony before I think it is definitely likely that we'll see a Red Dead Redemption 2 being announced uh, you know at the stage here on this PlayStation event I don't think it's going to be an exclusive or something they might have a certain deal going on for sure but um you know, I simply believe that the announcement is going to ma be made and Rockstar for so long now already for quite a few months has been saying that, you know, they would soon be announcing a next game and I mean, come on, GTA 5 came out three years ago, where the hell is their next game? You know, we still haven't seen anything, so it's about time that they would show off Red Dead Redemption 2 and my god is that going to be amazing because uh, it's definitely going to be one of my personal most anticipated games once it's announced for sure because I loved the original Red Dead, uh, you know, Redemption and I can't wait for this uh, second or to the sequel to that game coming out on the next gen platform so with that being said those are my predictions for the playstation event in september of course as i said september 7 at 8 p.m uk time you can watch the live stream at twitch.tv slash robin and then for now all i want to know is your predictions in the comments so let me know if you have any prediction that you would like to uh, put there and then for now yeah leave a quick like if you enjoyed the video helps my channel out a lot and then i hope to see you again next time